वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कसिंग विद द सम ऑफ द एम सी के क्वेश्चन ऑन टू मेटल कटिंग ऑपरेशन एंड इन दिस विडियो दैट विल बी कंटिन्यू विद द सम मोर एम सी के क्वेश्चन ऑन टू द मेटल कटिंग सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द मेटल कटिंग प्रोसेस when the compression limit of the metal in front of the cutting tool has been exceeded when it is separated from the workpiece and flows so basically in general way metal cutting that means what that will be the permanent deformation of workpiece material by the action of the tools so basically in case of any metal cutting operations when the compression limit of the metal in front of the cutting tool has been exceeded when it is separated from the workpiece so that will be called to be a permanent deformation or you can say plastically so the options first one that will be the elastically that will be not second one plastically then fourth one rigidly and none of the above so according to the that permanent deformation of the workpiece material the answer is plastically second question continuous chips are formed during the metal cutting operations due to first one ductile work material so in my previous lectures or you can say in my lectures of the continuous chips and discontinuous chips we already discussing in details so you should find the link in my descriptions so that will be one of the factors ductile materials it forms the continuous chips then second large rack angles so that will be also a, a factors that will be affecting for making a continuous chips and third one high cutting speed so at high cutting speed that will be also possibility for formation of continuous chips and last one all of the above so this is also possible the large rack angle is also possible and high cutting speed is also possible so for this kind of questions the answer for this and that will be all f above the next third one the cutting tool wears due to first one edge wear cutter wear flank wear and all of the above so this question is also mentioned in my types of wear theory so basically in the case of types of wear for the cutting materials it will be depends upon the edge wear then cutter wear and flank wear so for the cutting tool wears due to the all of the above or you can say on to the edge wear possible cutter wear and flank wear so for this questions answer is all of the above so basically these three are the types of the wears in the case of the cutting tool materials so for the detailed study the link it will be given into my description so the question number 4 the cutting speed of hss high speed steel is how many times faster than carbon steel so basically high speed steel is four times faster than the carbon steel so here that will be the options two times four times six times and eight times so for the high speed steel it always it will be four times faster than the carbon steel so for this question answer is four the next which of the following cutting tool has highest hot hardness so hot hardness basically at the higher temperature material having a hardness so the option is ceramics cast alloys high speed steel and carbon tool steel so in the detailed study of the ceramics so ceramics material which will be having a highest hardness at you can say as a hot hardness or you can say at higher temperature ceramics having a highest hardness as compared to the these options like cast alloys high speed steel and carbon tool steel 
So for this questions, which of the following cutting tool has a highest hot hardness? So in case of hot hardness, so that will be the answer is ceramics. So ceramics having a highest hot hardness. The surface of single point cutting tool on which the chips form in cutting operation site is called as the option is flank, heel, face and sank. So let us see. So this is our single point cutting tool. So first that will be the flank of the tool. So basically this surface it will be the flank of the tool and heel. So this is our heel of the single point cutting tool face. So that will be the top face of the single point cutting tool and this all that will be considering as a sank of the single point cutting tool. So just you can refer the questions the surface on the single point cutting tool on which the chips is formed in the cutting operation side is called. This is our workpiece material. So tool is in contact with the workpiece materials. So all the materials it will be cut by the tool materials it will be flow onto the top face of the single point cutting tool. So for this question answer is face of the single point cutting tool. So the answer C face of the single point cutting tool. Then next in which machining process removed metal is negligible. So first that will be the surface finishing operation. Second metal removal process. Third one none of the mansions and D both the surface finish and metal removal. So in case of the these questions the removed metal is negligible. So just you can thinking reversely in surface finish operations there will be the little amount of metal removal take place. Just you can make the good surface finishing jobs. Second metal removal process that will be considering metal removal rate. So that will be not possible. None of the above it will be also not possible because in case of the surface finishing operations that will be the little metal removal take place. So that will be the possibility for negligible. And third for last one both surface finish and metal removal. So the only the one or you can say A option and that will be the surface finishing operation. So in case of the surface finishing operations the metal removal is being negligible. Then next. So tool life in a orthogonal cutting is. So basically this theory it will be also in my description for more details. So basically tool life in a orthogonal cutting is the option is more than tool life in a oblique cutting, less than tool life in a oblique cutting, equal to the tool life in oblique cuttings and cannot see. So basically tool life in orthogonal cutting that will be less than the tool life into oblique cuttings. So basically in the case of the orthogonal cutting tool life is less as compared to oblique cuttings. So according to this theory in this question the answer B. So tool life in the orthogonal cutting is less than the tool life into oblique cutting. Then next question. Which of the following is the type of non-traditional machining process? So basically the machining process that will be dividing into two categories conventional and non-conventional or you can say non-traditional machining process. So in case of the conventional machining process tool and workpiece that will be always into physical contact. But in case of the non-traditional machining process tool and workpiece never in will be into physical contact. So let us see the options. So first that will be the turning. So in turning onto the lathe machines single point cutting tool and workpiece it will be in physical contact. Then B drilling. So in the case of the drillings drill bit and workpiece it will be in contact. 
C that will be milling so in case of the milling multi point cutting tool and the work piece it will be in physical contact for the machining and D none of the above so here that will be the no any kind of non traditional machining process is given because all the three turning drilling and milling that will be the requirement of the physical contact between tool and work piece so for these questions which of the following is the types of the non traditional machining so none of the above so basically in case of the non traditional machining that will be edm ecm chemical machining so in general tool and work piece it will be in never physical touch then next one metal removal process is also termed as primary production process first true or false so we all know metal removal process is act as a secondary production process not a primary production process so that statements it will be false so the metal removal process that will be act as a secondary production process so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you very much